Blow, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 1, Chapter 7 is, There are circumstances in the story of the children of Clavo that linger in my mind. It was a story of a double, or reciprocating, current. I have searched for accounts of a mysterious disappearance and an equally mysterious appearance, or something in the nature of an exchange in the same place. Upon December 12, 1910, a handsome, healthy girl disappeared somewhere in New York City. The only known man in her affairs lived in Italy. It looks as if she had no intention of disappearing. She was arranging for a party, a tea, whatever those things are, for about 60 of her former schoolmates, to be held upon the 17th of the month. When last seen, in Fifth Avenue, she said that she intended to walk through Central Park, on her way to her home, near the 79th Street entrance of the park. It may be that somewhere in the eastern part of the park, between 59th Street and the 79th Street entrances, she disappeared. No more is known of Dorothy Arnold. This day something appeared in Central Park. There was no record of any such occurrence before, as told in the New York. Sun, December 13th, scientists were puzzled. Upon the lake, near the 79th Street entrance, appeared a swan.